13 Action News Update sponsored by Bell Medical. I'm Trisha Keen. Right now on your 13 Action News Update, police are releasing more details about what led up to officers shooting and killing a man. Metro got a call of a man with a gun near Charleston and Mojave. Henderson's SWAT team was called in. They say the man was pointing his gun at innocent bystanders. They say he eventually pointed the gun at them when they shot and killed him. This is all unfolding last night. Involved officers are on paid leave while the department investigates. And some sad news to report. Dog, the Great Dane, has died. In February 2020, the local dog, named Dog, visited our studio. It was right after he won Best in Breed at the Westminster Kennel Club Dog Show. His owner telling us he developed bone cancer. He was put down last week. Well, stuck for an hour and a half, 550 feet in the air, about 150 people got stranded on the high roller Friday. A Caesars Entertainment spokesperson says it was a network connectivity issue. Engineers resolved it and nobody was hurt. Those stuck on top got refunds. The high roller is the tallest observation wheel in the world, by the way. Danny. Hopefully it wasn't too breezy up there on Friday. Tomorrow, not, not much of a breeze either, but there will be smoke that drifts back in. So expect smoky sunshine for your Thursday with temperatures uh, a touch above normal. We'll land in the mid to upper 90s for most of the Las Vegas Valley. The smoke in place will drop air quality back down to the moderate category. So keep that in mind before any making before making any outdoor plans and a bit of haze could linger into the weekend, but we do expect that smoke to start to thin out Friday into Saturday. We'll see a mix of sun and clouds this weekend. Highs holding in the mid 90s, but a pattern flip arrives by this time next week. That brings more seasonal air to the region, dropping highs to the upper 80s. And that was your 13 Action News update. You can always get the latest news at KTNV.com.